I used to be a fellow who felt that life was hollow. Everything seemed shallow with no path to follow. I was stuck by my mental constructs that were dictating my conduct. I saw no other possibilities. I felt ill at ease and the monotony was killing me. My school system was competitive. All my tasks repetitive. Couldn't think for myself, had to listen to the executive. My spirit was dying and school wouldn't let it live. So I decided I'm gonna go on a quest. I intend to give it my best and strap on my bullshit proof vest. I'm gonna go on a search for truth and then shout it off every roof and share it with all of my fellow youth. So I began a downright investigation to find the roots of this messed up nation. I looked everywhere in exploration. I talked to Buddhists, nudists, and raw foodists. I thought they'd have answers, but none met my expectations. Systems theory, shamanism, and solar demonstrations, sweat lodges, garages, and sessions of meditation. And then finally, in a book that I read on vacation, The root of all our problems is separation. Charles Eisenstein helped me to gain some sanity when I read his life's work, The Ascent of Humanity. He writes of humans going in a new direction, uniting self and nature into reconnection. Now, I don't claim to be a prophet, nor do I want profit in my pockets. Mm. I just want to spread the word about these topics because life is so much more than accumulating objects. First, we need a new prescription of opticals because infinite economic growth is pathological, whereas permaculture is the logical path. See, humans are an extension of the earth, which became self-aware. We're not the rulers of nature, it's our contraire. Mm. We're just a strand in the web, like a tree or a bear. And if we move from egocentric to ecocentric, then the power of love will overcome like Hendrix. See, our potential is excellent, but we've been trained and tamed like a circus elephant, and so we live half lives like a decaying element. I call it going through the motion sickness, but this sickness can be cured with the quickness if you tap into the mental witness, discarding old patterns to gain some mental fitness. So that we can recognize that the world isn't mechanized, it's really just our Western minds. And maybe what we perceive is really what we believe. And kids do hear Santa Claus on Christmas Eve. And I believe in the miracle land of Zion. That is why I'm lyrically amplifying and seeding gift culture like a spherical dandelion. As more people leave the cave in Plato's allegory, we'll see that this big change is participatory and we're the actors in this epic story. Look, beauty is all around. The sky starts an inch off the ground. And when you're found in the here and now without your mind making a sound, that is what they call profound. And so the message emerging from my vocals 
is to try on a new pair of bifocals and to actually say hi to the locals. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. Yeah. Because nothing supersedes the power of community. Now is the opportunity, so plant some super seeds and empower unity. Thank you very much. And I'd like to thank Tony Moss so much for inviting me out here. From the East Coast, I come representing representing Peace Bird and also Happy Valley and um, Tony uh, has reached out to the community to support my journey here and I, I deeply appreciate that and if anyone would like to contribute towards my journey here I would greatly appreciate that as well I would be happy to share my first album with you called Paradigm Shifting Flow Tree yeah so please uh, talk to me if you'd like to get one of those. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Love, love, love.